I'm Joanne Hampton. And I'm Stephanie Grebling, and we're with Manatee Educational Television. We are having a great time, and we're so excited to be here tonight. We're at the Making Strides Men Who Wear Pink Fashion Show. You know, Joanne, I was backstage earlier, and I saw all these really sharp-looking young men from around the community that have decided to advocate for breast cancer. They are dressed by some of the best retailers in the University Town Center Mall, and they are looking sharp. I love to see them really go all out. It's so nice to see a, the men in the community come out and really support this wonderful event. So the atrium is starting to get packed. I see people all over uh, the mezzanine area. The, the front rows already filled up. There's a lot of excitement and buzz for this event. This is really the last event before the big walk on October 20th. So definitely October 20th at Benderson. Nathan, Nathan Park. Benderson Park, yes, from uh, 7 in the morning to 11. Uh, these gentlemen have been raising money for weeks now, uh, trying, to, trying to raise as much money as possible to, to give to breast cancer awareness. So it's so, home stretch from here till October 20th. So I believe it's like about 30,000. How much have they raised so far, these men? Upwards of 60,000. 60,000. Oh my goodness, these men in the community. That's yes. a lot of money yes. for making strides. Yes. So these 26 men are just about ready to come out from behind the scenes. The music is pumping, the energy is high. We can't wait for this show, so stay tuned. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the 2018 Real Men Wear Pink Reveal Party. Are you ready for this? Say yeah! How awesome is this? I'm Lulu from 92.1 CTQ, and I'll be your MC for the evening, and trust me, it's my honor to be here with all of you. On behalf of the American Cancer Society and all of our Real Men candidates, thank you all so much for being here. So what exactly is Real Men Wear Pink? The American Cancer Society created this fundraising initiative to give men a greater presence in the fight against breast cancer. Working alongside our Making Strides Against Breast Cancer events, Real Men Wear Pink gives communities like ours the opportunity to nominate men to help raise money for breast cancer research, education, prevention, and support programs. Every dollar we raise helps save lives. How impactful is that? And thanks to the passion of our Real Men Wear Pink supporters, we're able to make a huge impact on breast cancer. In fact, last year the Real Men campaigns raised more than $5.5 million nationally. That is huge. And it's because of you. Tonight, we're going to meet our Real Men candidates and have a chance to vote with your dollars on your favorite. So definitely pay attention, okay? And at the end of this program, I'll explain how you can do that tonight, okay? So bear with me, but take note of who's bringing it tonight on the runway. Before we introduce our Real Men, I'd like to take a moment and introduce the chair of Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, Sarasota Manatee. Please give a warm welcome. Put your hands together for Isabel Marquenas from WTSP 10 News. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Well, good evening. You are all in for a fantastic show tonight. I just wanted to let you know, this is a great event this evening. You're going to have a lot of fun. 
And I just wanted to share with you my personal story briefly with breast cancer. For a while after my diagnosis in 2015, I did not think that my story was worthy of telling because mine was resolved so simply and so quickly. But I, after seeing so many of my friends go through chemo and go through radiation and my best friend go through a double mastectomy and 16 reconstructive surgeries, I'm like, who wants to hear my story? But I realized I have an important message and that's of early detection. In 2013, a radiologist at Sarasota Memorial with a very keen eye saw something. I couldn't see it, even though I asked, but she saw it and monitored me for a year and a half. In 2015, I was diagnosed with DCIS. In November of that year, I had a lumpectomy. I walked away without chemotherapy, without radiation. But that early detection saved me, saved me. So I implore, take the message to the women in your lives. Get the annual mammograms, do the monthly checks. Get, be informed, engage in your health because early detection is the best prevention. And we want them to be in our lives for a very long time. So now, the show would not have been possible, thank you, without the hard work of a few people. I'd like to recognize Joe McLean, chair of the Real Men Wear Pink Committee, for her hard work getting these men ready for tonight and Lauren Clark and Jamie Grimm here at UTC Mall for setting up this amazing party. It's a great venue. I would also like to thank our sponsors for their support for this great event. And can I have a round of applause, a big round of applause for the mall at UTC, Benderson Development and Seasons 52. We also want to thank so many of the stores here for providing our real men with their amazing outfits for tonight. And you're gonna see some really dashing looking guys coming up on stage. So I'm gonna turn it over back to Lulu and she will start the show. Thank you, Isabel, and thank you for sharing your story. It's important for all women to know. All right, listen, you wanna get this party started or not? Say yeah! You wanna meet the 2018 Sarasota Manatee Real Men? I know I do. I say yes to this event every year. All right, so man, you gotta bring it because this is your chance to get these people to vote for you through their dollars to raise money for breast cancer, all right? Y'all look good. Wait till you see them, all right? Here we go. Our first real man of the evening is Alan Hansen. Come on, Alan, bring it. Ow. Let me tell you about Alan. <laughs> Alan is managing partner at Texas Roadhouse. He is a University of Utah graduate. He speaks French. And he's married with four beautiful children. Alan's mother is a survivor. Tonight, Dillers outfitted Alan in a black and white coat by Hardwick. That's okay. Do your thing, Alan. America's oldest clothing manufacturer. He's in a pink shirt by pa Perry Ellis. Black slacks by Dillard's. Own Roundtree and York brand. And completing the look is a tie by Ted Baker. Alan, come here. Say something in French like you mean it now. That did it for me. How about you? Okay. Unfortunately, couldn't be here for tonight's fashion show is Andy Goose. Andy is the CEO of Lakewood Ranch Medical Center. Andy is married with two children and is excited to be participating in Real Men Wear Pink because making strides against breast cancer and Lakewood Ranch Medical Center have the same goals, and that is improving the quality of life in our community. a technology specialist for Xerox Corporation. Eric and his family are no strangers to breast cancer. Unfortunately, his wife Carrie was diagnosed two years ago. 
She's proud to be participating in Real Men Wear Pink in her honor. Tonight, Eric is wearing the perfect pink toned Jagger shirt paired with Robert Graham's perfect fit denim and an indigo wash and their best selling downhill sport coat. The downhill coat is a sleek, tailored fit sport coat that is available in many colors and textures and features a removable zipper front closure. Who did you get the who did you get the rose to? That's my sister. Thank you. She got a All right, how cute is that? And now let's welcome and make some noise for Brandon Kupekska. Come on, Brandon, do your thing. A familiar face around the mall at UTC since he's managing partner of Seasons 52. Thank you for that great party. Brandon is a Florida native, has a wife with two small children, and is excited to be supporting Real Men Wear Pink for the first time this year. Tonight, Saks has dressed Brandon in the Saks Fifth Avenue collection, melange, knit blazer, and 100% light wool. Also available in blue. Under it is a Peter Pan Millar Wyatt plaid print shirt in cottage blue, paired with a rag and bone skinny fit jean in 98% cotton and 2% stretch. You look fabulous. There's an outfit. Wow, our guys are looking sharp. Up next is Brian Cooper, who is the director of Beach Club Operations at the Ritz Carlton, Sarasota. Brian has been in the hospitality industry for 25 years and is married with a two-year-old puppy named Buster and is an avid New York sports fan. All right, Brian, work with the runway. Republic, Banana Republic has outfitted Brian in her long sleeve Camden linen woven shirt, which paired with her aided rapid movement chinos and Air Force khaki. Banana Republic has been known for its Irish linen shirts for 40 years, and their rapid movement aided pants are stain resistant and feel as comfortable as sweatpants. Do they? Do they, Brian? <laughs> but are actually super premium chinos, looking good. All right, are we having fun? Say yeah! How about these men? Next we have Casey Claw. Casey is an attorney for the state of Florida. Casey is married with two children and has been on the runway before apparently. He also has a personal connection to the cause. You go Casey! I love it! I want to let you know that Casey's wife, Allison, was diagnosed in 2016, and he's excited to support an organization who helped them during their time of need. Tonight, Robert Graham shows us how Casey can take this look from day to a casual evening out in Sarasota. He's wearing their traveler t-shirt made of cotton and rayon blend, paired with the convoy zip sweater and charcoal gray. Also part of his ensemble is the new Robert Graham lightweight pant with a slight print to the fabric, finished with a pair of Blackburn sneakers. You're not done, Casey. <laughs> Robert Graham has a great selection of new fall products and are expecting their rival of the new resort wear next week. You work that. Let's hear for Casey 
everybody. I've been waiting on the and next is another Real Men Wear Pink participant who could not be here tonight for the show. Damien O'Riordan. Is he's, he's the general manager of the Ritz Carlton in Sarasota and says he is excited to be a part of the Real Men Wear Pink campaign because he wants to help raise awareness and find a cure for this terrible disease that impacts so many people. All right, make some noise because up next is Dan West. Come on. You look good in pink. Wow. Now, Dan is the director of sales for Sprint Wireless. You got this down, Dan. I can't wait to see what you're going to do on the runway. All right. Dan is excited to be involved in Real Men Wear Pink because he has seen too many people close to him afflicted by this disease. He wants to do what he can to support the cause. Tonight, Macy's has Dan sporting a Tommy Hilfiger outfit. Did you know that Tommy Hilfiger brand is only carried at Macy's? We didn't know that. Dan has on a pair of Tommy Hilfiger Flex custom fit pants. Flex a little bit. <laughs> a Tommy Hilfiger classic fit Oxford shirt designed for Macy's fall collection. And a pair of Cole Haan Drivers, way to flex, Dan. You can move in those pants. Looking good. Let's hear it for Dan. Come on. And our next two real men who wear pink were not able to attend tonight's fashion show, unfortunately. David Chuel, owner of Beniva Flowers and Landscape. David is married with two children, and he tells us he is excited to be able to use his contacts and resources in his business and personal life to contribute to such a great cause. Oh, we got it. I can tell you, the guys are antsy to get out here. Wait till you see what's coming up next. What do you think about the guys so far? You like the outfits? They're looking good, and they're working the run day. Make some noise. A lot of you know this man. Welcome Hugh Shields. Hugh is the marketing administrator at Gold Coast Eagle and has more than a share in the community for just about every charity he could think of. He has three daughters and three grandchildren. Both his parents and sisters have been affected by cancer. Hugh tells us he is excited to help those fighting this terrible monster that has no boundaries and is not selective. Tonight, Saks Fifth Avenue has dressed Hugh in a messenger polo in pink, of course with stitched detail by Robert Graham. He also has on a quarter zip pullover and branded trim in navy by Peter Millar and a pair of woven twill five pocket pants by Peter Millar in British gray. Hugh, you look fabulous. You look, oh, look, check out the socks. Hugh's bringing it tonight. Don't forget, you can find out about all these men in your program and vote with your dollars. All right, now up next is Jim Talkie, owner of Talkie Custom Homes. Jim has known several women and men who have been affected by this terrible disease and says every little bit helps to hopefully find a cure. And as as Jim takes a runway, we tell you that Macy's has outfitted Jim in a complete Ralph Lauren polo outfit. He's wearing Ralph Lauren polo, classic fit, nine inch shorts featuring a navy skull and crossbone pattern. A Ralph Lauren polo, classic fit polo shirt and Ralph Lauren polo chambray sneakers. He's ready for a tennis match. <laughs> Thank you so much. Looking good there. All right, keep that excitement going because next up tonight is Jimmy Vines. Come on, Jimmy. Looking good tonight. Jimmy is the owner of Tap Snap. Jimmy's the oldest of four boys. He is a Navy veteran. Thank you for your service. Facebook Live. Jimmy knows what to do. Facebook Live, everybody, make some noise for the real men wear pink. Jimmy's married with three stepchildren and eight grandchildren. Jimmy's father.
Taylor is currently fighting the good fight, so he is here in his honor. Tonight, Tommy Bahama has Jimmy in their sea glass breezer linen shirt made from soft premium linen for comfort in warmer weather. It's pigment print with a solid color for an incredible look that gets better over time. I like that. Layered under is the flip tied reversible tee featuring textured slub fabric, accent stitching, and cooling 37.5 technology derived from coconut shells and volcanic sand. Hold on, we're not done. It uses the very elements of its island life to keep you cool. Paired with the Borake Five Pocket Chino, made with a soft, slightly stretchy cotton blend. Stretch it out there, Jimmy. These pants offer total comfort and are offered in a variety of colors. Finishing the look are the Relaxology Acklin slip-on shoes with a sleek and minimal profile. These comfortable slip-on shoes were made for everyday walking and enjoying life's adventures. This is the perfect outfit whether you find yourself lounging on the beach, golfing in the desert, or just enjoying the peace of your own home. Way to go, Jimmy! Let's hear it for him! Tonight's gonna be a good night. That's a nice gonna be And up next we have Joe Ernst is our next real man born and raised right here in Sarasota. He is the sales manager for D&D Garage Doors and VP of the Manatee Sarasota Building Industry Association. Joe's mom is a breast cancer survivor and he is happy to be involved to help fund the innovative research that will hopefully one day soon find a cure. Joe is sporting a Brooks Brother outfit tonight featuring an American-made navy blazer and 200th anniversary American-made sports shirt paired with a classic pair of twill chinos. And by American-made, specifically the jacket is made in Massachusetts and the shirt is made in a factory in North Carolina. Give it up! Coming up next, Justin, you are up. Justin Garrell, managing partner of Metro Diner is Justin Garrell. Justin went to the University of Florida, yo, and says he bleeds orange and blue. Go Gators! He is proud to support real men wear pink in his grandfather's honor, who is currently battling stage four lung cancer. Justin is wearing Banana Republic's performance polo in pink, their Aiden Core temp shorts in steel gray, and their slim fit pinstripe blazer in light gray. All right, keep the excitement going now. Next up is Kevin Stensick. Yeah, Kevin, you're looking good there, buddy. Kevin is with Florida West PNC Bank. Kevin is married with two children. He watched cancer challenge his good friend, Carrie Lewis, and her husband and fellow real man, Eric. He wanted to participate in this cause this year in support of them. Dillard's has appointed Kevin in a Daniel Cremieux coat, exclusive to Dillard's. That is blue with a hint of pink. His shirt is fuchsia pink, psycho bunny, paired with a classic pair of Joe's jeans. Thank you so much. Work in the runway. And coming up next, our next real man is Larry Maroney. Come on up, Larry. General Manager at Cox Chevrolet, Larry is a Philadelphia native and married with two boys. He's looking forward to helping and giving back to a great charity. Larry is wearing Dillard's best selling suit from Hart Schaffner Marks. It's a charcoal gray, modern fit suit that looks great on everyone. Take the runway. His shirt is Dillard's own gold label pulled together with a tie by Dillard's own Murano brand. What do you think of Larry? Give it up for Larry. Looking good. All right, next, our next real man is Martin Hudak. Oh, Martin. What is this I'm feeling? Martin is the owner of Martin's Moving and says he has seen so many people affected by this ugly disease that he wants to show his support by raising money and walking alongside those who have been fortunate enough to survive and to honor those who have not. Tonight, Martin is outfitted by Robert Graham with a great look for a night on the town. He is wearing one of Robert
Robert Graham Signature Limited shirts with the Canyon flower and its distinctive colors and design detail. His outfit has been paired with a perfect fit black denim jean and an edgy pair of leather skull tennis shoes finishes the outfit in style. The limited shirt he is wearing is called limited due to the fact that only a specific number of shirts are made and each shirt is numbered. The shirt happens to be number 409 out of only 687 that were produced. Looking good, Martin. Hope you're going out tonight. You look good. Thank you, Martin. Although he wasn't able to be in attendance tonight, we want to also recognize Matthew Payne, our next participant in Real Men Wear Pink. Matthew is the district manager for Walgreens. He lost his father to cancer at an early age of 54 and says if he can help just one person from enduring the pain he's felt from losing his father, then he's made a difference. We wish he could be here tonight, but let's give him a pause. All right, this next guy right here might be a very familiar face. He's very familiar to me. I live most of my life with him. He is from 92.1 CTQ, my morning show co-host. His name is Maverick. And let me tell you this, Maverick happens to be the birthday boy. Yeah, he's the birthday boy. Now, you may or may not know that Maverick's mom is a breast cancer survivor. Maverick is a recipient of the Mary Parker Philanthropic... You know I wouldn't say that. Philanthropic? Thank you. Um, award and the founder of Wishes for Heroes. Tonight, Maverick is dressed from head to toe from Macy's. You're looking sharp there, Maverick. Now listen, what you got to do is check the program and see what all these guys are doing to raise money for making strides against breast cancer. He's got an event coming up on La Bar, so check it out. Looking good, Maverick. Thank you. The club is the best and now we welcome Dr. Michael O'Neill to the stage. Dr. O'Neill, he's a dentist with Longbow Key Dental, is a native in West Bradenton and, and attended Manatee High School. According to Dr. O'Neill, he doesn't always wear pink, but when he does, it's for breast cancer awareness. And does he wear it well? He's wearing it well. Brooks Brothers has him in a performance golf trouser and navy and a U.S. made sports shirt and tie. Completing the outfit is a washable wool quarter zip sweater. Let's give it up for Dr. O'Neill. Thank you so much for everything you're doing to all the real men. Up next is Ryan Rowley. Ryan, hello. Ryan attended USFR's business degree, recently got engaged, and was recently awarded his own Walgreens store in Bradenton after acquiring his pharmaceutical certifications and national testing requirements. Tonight, Ryan is wearing Brooks Brothers' best-selling non-iron dress shirt paired with a Brooks Brothers classic prep tie. The chinos he has on are machine washable and non-iron as well, so it makes for a perfect low-maintenance look. The outfit is topped off with a new fall lamb wool cardigan, perfect for those chilly winter nights here in Florida. You look fabulous. Thank you so much. Thank you. And our last real man to wear pink tonight and take the stage is Dr. Trevor Bourne. Dr. Bourne is an orthopedic surgeon with Sarasota Orthopedic Associates. He says it's a privilege to represent the medical community in Real Men Wear Pink. And he's looking forward to supporting those right here in our community that are fighting breast cancer. Dr. Bourne has been outfitted tonight by Banana Republic and is wearing their Grant tailored slip fit shirt and a pink and blue window pane plaid. He has on Banana Republic skinny fit chino in urban gray and completing the look is the track jacket and navy with gray stripes on the cuff. Very nice. The Banana Republic track jacket is actually vegan suede and feels even better than the real thing. The shirt is a non-iron that is truly non-iron and his stretch chinos are stained and water resistant. Looking great. I'm in love with your body where everything still something and now that everyone has met our real men, let's bring them back on stage so we can give them all a round of applause. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Take your walk on the runway.
way. Come on, be my baby. Come on, be my baby. Come on, be my baby. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. These are real men doing their part in the fight against breast cancer. That's who they are. Thank you for what you're doing, guys. It's amazing. Check out your program. You vote by dollars. They're raising money for breast cancer. And looking mighty fine while they're doing it, I might add. You guys brought it tonight. You look fabulous. Thank you so much. The Real Men Wear Pink 2018. Here they are. Yes. Anybody get your pictures now. Hold on. Everybody don't get your pictures of these guys. Someone take one for me and text it to me. Awesome. Thank you guys. Oh, one more. I see. what real men look like. Hey guys, once you get off the stage, please come to this side of the stage, okay? Just go around. You're in demand today. You're in demand. You're not done. Wow. Amazing. All right, now. I need your attention for a few more minutes because I want to talk to you about how you can do your part, okay? Join us at the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. It happens next month at Nathan Benderson Park. The details are on the screen now. It is Saturday, October 20th, Nathan Benderson Park. Registration opens at 7 a.m. The walk starts at 9 a.m. The Survivor Brunch is at 10.30 at Nathan Benderson Park. You can register online at makingstrideswalk.org slash Sarasota Manatee. Before you leave tonight, you can vote for your favorite real man. You can do this by donating to their campaigns on their individual fundraising pages. You have a program with all the websites where the real men are listed. Visit their sites, share their sites, and help them raise money and awareness for breast cancer. We also have a table set up with information about the American Cancer Society and the programs and services the organization offers. Before we close, I want to send out a special thank you to Bethany and Janet, who worked tirelessly. Let's hear it for them. All these events are fabulous. They bring out people. They're raising money because of you, but they're bringing all of us together for one cause to beat and cure breast cancer. So thank you, Bethany and Janet. And one more accolade I want to give is to congratulate Joy, who got her master's today. She got her master's. And these are all people working for all of us. I'm Joanne Hampton and we are at the Men Who Wear Pink fashion show. Tell me a little bit about yourself. First, let's start with your name. I'm Joe Ernst. I'm with D&D uh, &D Garage Doors and uh, this will be my second year doing Real Men Who Wear Pink. That's wonderful. And so what inspires you? Like, why are you here today? Why is it your second year? Well, uh, I've had a team now. Uh, my company's had a team for, this will be our fifth year doing a walk. Uh, and uh, my mom's a breast cancer survivor now. So uh, that helped me pushed me a little bit more to raise funds because she was taken care of quite well uh, during during the time she was going through the uh, you know through the recovery process so Wonderful. did she get to use any of the American Cancer Society's yes yeah, she was actually able to uh, uh, she was uh, the wig uh, I don't know exactly what it's called but yes the, the wig part of it so and, and she used it for a little bit and she decided it wasn't for her but she was very 
She had a lot of support through the process, which, which you know, seeing where the money goes is a huge uh, catalyst for us to, to push to raise funds for this wonderful event. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your support, and thank you for raising funds for the American Cancer Society. I'm here with Dr. Trevor Bourne. He's one of the Real Men Wear Pink candidates. Trevor, we are so excited to have you participate in the 2018 Real Men Wear Pink campaign. What, what was so important to you about being involved in this campaign? This is uh, such a widespread medical you know, disease that affects one in eight women throughout their life. And just to get the word out there that each and every bit of effort, time, and dollar that one can devote to this to help find a cure, other treatment options for ladies, is, uh, it's a privilege. And the mall has been such a big supporter in this event. And all of the different retail stores in the mall have designated an outfit for each of the candidates. So who are you wearing today? Yeah, uh, I was a Banana Republic, and uh, they fitted me with this uh, lovely dress shirt with some pink subtle tones to it. And then I also have the lovely, you know, men who wear pink socks on to go along with it. I love it. It's great. Yep. Any trepidations about getting on the catwalk today? Well, I'm the final one to go, so actually I think uh, everything will be pretty easy by that point. I'm not too uh, worried about it. I'll just let the, uh, the uh, feeling go with it and uh, enjoy it. So th being a real man candidate involves raising money for this cause. Tell me how you have reached out the community to raise money for your campaign. Yeah, so uh, through Facebook, other social media outlets, we have uh, looked at uh, ways of getting the word out that way. Through my job, our marketing people have obviously sent out emails and other notices to the other employees to see, hey, uh, what can you donate? Every little buck counts. And uh, those are the main ways. And then obviously just friends and family. I have my mom, my brother, my sister-in-law, uh, numerous other people that I'm friends with here, and I can't uh, thank them enough. This community provides a tremendous amount of support, which is so important. Uh, right here in Manatee and Sarasota that the money raised for this event will come right back to the community. So we are so grateful to have you a part of this and I can't wait to see you walk later. Thank you so much. Dr. Bourne, what would you say to anybody in the community that was curious about being a candidate for the Real Men Wear Pink campaign? Uh, I would say obviously visit the websites, the American Cancer Society, all the uh, breast cancer uh, foundations that are out there. Um, come to these events, find ways to take part in the walkathon. I think it's in October uh, in about a few 20th, weeks. 20th, yeah. 20th. Um, you know, and just reach out and see, hey, how can I help? How can I participate? How can I volunteer? And uh, who knows, maybe you get asked to be a part of this. Or even if you're not, you still get a chance to help out uh, a cause that's uh, worth fighting. Absolutely. Anybody can be, be a participant in this campaign. Thank you so much for being here today, and we're real excited to see what's coming up next. Thank you again. Hi, so we are here with the men who wear pink, and we're here with Justin. Can you please tell me a little bit about yourself, and why are you here? What inspires you to come out, actually wear pink, and raise funds for the American Cancer Society? Absolutely. Um, I work as the managing partner of Metro Diner in Sarasota, and I was uh, invited to be a real man who wears pink as a result of our sponsorship of a Strides event later on in October for a survivor brunch. I am thrilled to be a part of such a fantastic organization and help raise funds to end this terrible disease, and hopefully we can make a cure for not only breast cancer but all cancers. Thank you so much for being here. Now do you know anyone who had breast cancer? Anyone in your family? Abs I think there's not one person anymore who doesn't know. know. A, a, a survivor or, or, or unfortunately has lost a loved one. Um, I currently have my grandfather is fighting a, um, a lung cancer but um, you know any, any fight is, is worth it and it makes sense to be a part of this organization and to do as much as we can every day. I must say, you look absolutely fabulous in pink. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much for being with us, Justin. I'm here with Isabel, who is the event chair of this wonderful, exciting, phenomenal event with American Cancer Society. I am so honored when you asked me about this a year ago, and here we are already enjoying these events. I gotta tell you, for me, it's so personal because I'm a breast cancer survivor, and my message to everyone is about early detection because that's what saved me and what saved me a lot of pain so you have a woman out there that you love just make sure you really enforce that that message of early detection annual mammograms and monthly checkups and i gotta tell you i am so honored to be part of this group because the committee has worked so hard endlessly all of you have done so much 
to pull off this amazing event. It's just beautiful. Well, the cause is greater than the work, and it, it, it helps so many people throughout this community and every other community in the, in the nation. So American Cancer Society really pulls all the resources to help all those in need, whether you need a ride to the hospital or if you need to stay in the Hope Lodge, American Cancer Society, American Cancer Society is here for you. Isabella, can you tell us about the young men and gentlemen that will be walking tonight to promote and advocate for American Cancer Society? And they're doing it so in such a simple way. This is about real men wear pink the color that really signifies the fight against breast cancer. And we have men from all walks of life here, all ages. We have you know, business owners, we have managers, corporate guys, you name it. And they're gonna be strutting their stuff on stage today. And they all have raised a lot of money for research that's gonna stay right here. That's right. It's, it's real men in our community doing good in their day-to-day -day lives that have wanted to contribute to something extra and give back to this community, which is so wonderful. And we have like two dozen, 26 guys, 26 guys that stepped up and said, we're going to do this. We're going to be a part of it. We are going to fight for the women in our lives. And each one of these men is dressed by one of the retail locations here at the University Town Center. So it's a community-wide event. Uh, there's people standing all over this atrium from the balconies seated right here on the front row ready to get a personal view on this catwalk. Let's watch them strut their stuff. It's going to be fun. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's talk to a few more guys and then we'll be ready for that fashion show. So I have the privilege to be here with the manager of UTC. Tell me a little bit. First, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Jeremy Birkinshaw. Like I said, I'm the general manager of University Town Center and we're just thrilled to have you guys here today. This is an amazing event. I cannot tell you how nice it is to have you open up the mall to us and have all these, uh, you know, even all the shops that actually dress the men up. Yes. The restaurants that have welcomed us. Absolutely. It's really been wonderful. I cannot thank you enough. Well, we are thrilled to have you guys here. I mean, really, the American Cancer Society, the Making Strides event, it's all just such a wonderful thing, and the center's happy to be part of it. Now, are you going to be out there for the walk on October 20th? I will be, absolutely, yes. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Thank we'll have a whole team out there so yes wonderful wonderful All right. thank you so much for everything that you do for dona donating the time the space and really appreciate it's it our pleasure thank you very much I'm here with Alan Hansen from Texas Roadhouse one of the real men wear pink candidates Alan you just came off the runway what was that experience like today man you know it's just so exciting it's so happy to have people here joining together for a good cause doing a lot of good things you know you can't beat it you know the excitement the adrenaline going it just starts pumping and doing it for this cause you can't beat it all for raising awareness for American Cancer Society. What were some of the things that you did for your fundraiser? You know, a lot of times we do at the restaurant every Monday we do a 10% night. So 10% back turns into a donation for anybody that eats at Texas Roadhouse. So big donations, a lot of good things coming from it. That's wonderful that your own patrons support your involvement in American Cancer. That's so important to have the whole community get involved and um, make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to either be a part of it, participate, or actually be in the walk. So whatever the opportunity is, everybody has an opportunity to participate. So thank you so much for being a part of this this year. It's my pleasure. Great, great opportunity. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We'll talk. Hi, I'm Joanne Hampton at University Town Center Mall. And not only are the men wearing pink today, but so are we. Wonderful. We're together. And your name? My name is Lulu from iHeartMedia from 921 CTQ. And um, I've been involved with making strides against breast cancer for like 10 years since I've been here, then in, also in Nashville. But this is such a wonderful event. We're getting the men involved. Yes, absolutely. It's really nice to have the men do a little bit more, to be supportive, to have them come out and show their support. It's amazing what a difference it makes when the men actually come out. And I think that I was talking to some of the gentlemen, you know, the, the show is just about to begin, but I've had a few conversations and they're saying they're doing it in support of their mothers, their sisters. You never know when, when cancer is going to strike you. And I think, I don't know that I've talked to anybody who I, it hasn't affected. Yes, I know a lot of the men were saying that they're doing it for their sisters, you know, two sisters, both sisters, and have lost all the, a lot of their loved ones. 
but thank you so much for being here. I know the show is about to start. Let's get, watch the boys walk on the, the walk, the catwalk. Hey, mm -hmm. Somebody's got to watch the boys. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm here with Brian Cooper, one of the real men wear pink candidates for 2018. Brian, you just walked the catwalk here at University Town Center. Who are you wearing today? Uh, I'm wearing um, uh, Banana, Banana Republic. I'm sorry. Yeah, Banana Republic I'm wearing today. Wonderful, so. wonderful. What made you want to get involved in American Cancer Society and especially for the Real Men Wear Pink campaign? Uh, my mom passed away from cancer. Uh, she had breast cancer um, and she passed away about five years ago. And my mother-in-law also is a breast cancer survivor, so it's near and dear to my heart. And Wonderful that you now have the ability to honor them um, and give back and raise money for um, the other women that are, are going through treatment, the women that are going to be diagnosed in the future, that there is a place where they can get support and services free of charge, and it's fundraisers like these that allow that to happen. So, yeah, absolutely. So we, we're, uh, we're at a good kickoff right now at raising money, so we're going to surpass our goal, and we're looking forward to doing this again next year. Well, that's awesome. You've surpassed your goal. Thank you. Awesome. Thank See you. you on October 20th Thank for the walk. So, Casey, I have to say I really enjoyed your little catwalk and all the selfies that you took. You look like you really enjoyed yourself. I absolutely did. This is an absolutely wonderful cause, and I was so blessed to be a part of it. So tell me, why are you here today? What does this mean to you? Well, if I can get through it without crying, uh, in 2016, my wife, my beautiful wife, Allison, who's here, was diagnosed with breast cancer. So she's a survivor, um, and that's absolutely the reason why I'm here, because this organization uh, really changes lives, and we appreciate it. It is so wonderful that you show your support for your wife. It is so lovely. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull his wife over so she can tell us a little bit about herself. So... Hi, tell me your first name. Again. Allison. Allison, Allison. So tell me a little bit about how you were diagnosed. Well, I was diagnosed one night in January of 2016. I was um, sneak eating and watching late night TV by myself on the couch after everybody went to sleep and I felt a lump that I knew was not there that morning. And I told Casey about it when I woke up the next day and I went to the doctor, I went to my OB they did an exam, they sent me for an ultrasound. The ultrasound tech said the radiologist wasn't there and they would call me with the results. But when I went to get up after the ultrasound, they told me not to move. And I waited there for about 15 minutes and she came back in and said, they're sending you for a mammogram. And I knew as soon as they said that, that there was something wrong. That I got the results the next day. They sent me to a surgeon to remove the one lump that I felt. It came back as ductal carcinoma in situ, and then my surgeon sent me for an MRI, and it ended up I had 12 lumps. Oh my goodness! And I ended up doing um, chemotherapy. I lost all my hair. I used to have long blonde hair. Now it's dark. Um, it I had matter. a. She's still as beautiful. Oh my goodness! I that had a double mastectomy and a complete hysterectomy. And when they did the mastectomy, they found that 11 of my lumps were ductal carcinoma in situ, and the chemo eradicated them. They were gone, but I had one lump left, which was invasive ductal carcinoma. So it was a different kind, and that was still there. But I did that, and I am healthier than ever, and I'm good. Thank you. Congratulations on being a survivor. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say, your husband is so adorable. And, and what does it mean to you to see him like really stepping up his game and really supporting? It's not that he's just showing up for the walk. He's he, actually doing he, this. He does everything every day anyway, always. He always does everything. He's the best husband. He's the best father. He's the best friend. He's absolutely amazing. And I don't know what I would do. Are they the cutest? They are the cutest couple. Thank you so much. I'm here with Hugh Shields from Gold Coast Eagle here, right here in Lakewood Ranch. Yeah. Hugh, what made you want to get involved in such an amazing organization like American Cancer Society and this particular event for Real Men Wear Pink? My two sisters, they're my heroes. They are two-time cancer survivors and in the past three years they have went through so much trauma and everything and then they both decided to have the full, what they call full scrape. Unbelievable. but. They want to be there for their grandchildren, their husbands, their 
children and I, when I told them I was doing this for the second year, they both just started crying over the phone, so I can't let them down. Amazing that you're able to honor them and their strength and, ch and channel what they have gone through and advocate for not only your family but other women. Okay. Cancer has no boundaries. It doesn't discriminate anybody. We've got to beat this. So this is your second year in a row. Who are you wearing this year? Robert Graham um, from Saks Fifth Avenue. I love it. You've got this great popped collar, this multi-collar up under your uh, your collar. It's great. It's not normally my fashion at work, but what the heck? You got to step out once in a while. That's right. Bring it big and bold for for breast cancer, right? Exactly. Go big or go home. And we'll see you on October 20th at the walk. Absolutely. So Martin, not only are you here as participating in the men who wear pink, but you're also a coach for all these boys in their hockey team? Yeah, those are my wonderful kids. Oh. We play hockey, great players, and uh, uh, we're trying to do the best in hockey and support the cancer at the same time. Wonderful. So tell me, why is this important to you? Why did you choose to step out and actually get involved? And, and it's, it's a personal life. I got a friend of mine, her, uh, her name is Tamara, and she's going through uh, breast cancer right now, the treatment. So when, when you got somebody and you really experience it, plus a couple people that passed away, unfortunately, you want to be part of it and you want to contribute and help uh, cancer patients. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for bringing all the boys. And I will see you guys all on October 20th, right? We're going to be at Benderson. We're going to do the walk. You need to wear pink shorts, uh, shirts. You need to bring these boys. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with James Vines. Everybody in town knows who you are. Do they? You, yes, they do. You are Mr. Tap Snap. Oh, cool. At every I'm glad event. you said that right. Yes, around town. And we are so excited to have you as part of the Real Men Work Pink campaign. James, what made you want to get involved in the American Cancer Society Real Men Wear Pink campaign? Wow, man, I just got a rush of emotion because uh, I lost my father in January to pancreatic cancer. And um, he worked in the nuclear energy all his life. And uh, uh, two years ago, he was going to come see us and, and spend about three months in Florida for spring training. And he got diagnosed with pancreatic and liver cancer. So he stayed home in Washington State, and I went to go visit him a few times, and he passed away in January. So for me, it's all about giving, not only give it, it's personal, so I'm gonna give it back to my, my, my dad. Because he's James Senior. So, I'm Jimmy Junior, see him. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. I see what he did there. I'm getting a little emotional about this, so. But um, this was fun, this is my second year. Um, I just want uh, everybody that knows me to go to my page and to give something. And so we can actually fight this disease and then actually eradicate it. Let's get rid of it. And uh, because I see a lot of people, a lot of kids passing away that they haven't grown up yet, but they're in the hospital and they're suffering. And so my father lived to be uh, 76 years old. And so, but there's a lot of people that don't live that long too. Sure. So. I want them to, I, want, I just want to, the, the message to be sent. Yeah. So thanks for saying that because it hit me up a hard. So. Unfortunately, cancer is everywhere and it doesn't just affect women, it affects men as well oh, yeah, that's and true. every part of the body. So that's what American Cancer Society is about, education, providing support and treatment options. So this is just one of the many, many, many uh, sectors and missions that American Cancer Society has. So thank you so much for being a part of it and helping find a cure for our future generation. Thank you for being here, you and Charles. Thanks everybody for being here and bringing it out to the network and let everybody see it too, so thank you. Always Thanks a pleasure to see me. you. All right, thank you, bye-bye. Hello, so first, before we even get into you, yes. we have to get into this little handsome bite. Thank you. And who is this? Landon Reader Johnson. Oh my goodness, and he is so adorable. So tell what? me, what inspired you to be here today to even get involved in this men who wear pink? Well, I'm an educator, I'm a principal, and unfortunately, in all my years, I've dealt with um, not only my staff members, but also some of my leaders going through that battle. Um, the first person to ever hire me was actually died of cancer. So Miss Regal was the first principal, came and hired me straight out of college, and from then on, it made it very easy for me to do this. That's wonderful. So it's just like a real passion, something that truly touches your heart. I do, and I also have a friend, Lori. Um, unfortunately, she passed away a couple years ago. 
uh, had our wedding down here. We had a great time, and unfortunately, um, really at a young age. So we all were in our 30s, and she passed away in her 30s. Thank you so much for being part of this. Thank you for being so inspiring. Thank, Thank you. you for bringing this little handsome bug. I'm here with Eric and his two grandsons. Eric, you just finished walking on the, the red carpet here, the pink carpet. How did it make you feel to be a part of such a great campaign for raising awareness? You know, it's amazing because there's so many victims that are going through breast cancer and just fighting the cancer disease. And it's just amazing to be a part of such an awesome opportunity to raise money and to support so many women. So how did you get originally get involved in this campaign? Well, my wife was uh, as a cancer survivor two years now, Carrie Lewis. So it was just natural to give, become part of it. I understand completely. So what would you say to another person listening and watching today uh, if they were interested in being a Real Men candidate? I would say check social media, The Real Men Wear Pink. We're in social media. We're promoting what we're doing, and I think it's an awesome opportunity to get involved and to support so many people in a great cause. Looks like we have another generation of real men wear pink. They're little men wearing pink. How is it to see your grandpa on the runway today? Good. Hi, so we're with Dan. Dan, you look like you had a lot of fun on that catwalk. I was especially laughing. That was pretty funny. You really enjoyed yourself. But do we all see... I mean, you went all out with your pink. They really dressed you in pink. I did, I did. yeah. Uh, when I got to Macy's uh, a couple days ago, they said, uh, you're with real men and wear pink. And I said, yes, I am. They said, we don't have a lot of pink to, to choose from. And I said, I see two items that I want right there. I'm going to put them together and I'm wearing them. This looks fabulous. You really outdid yourself. So tell me. What does this mean to you? Why are you here today? Why men who wear pink? So uh, a couple things. So I was recruited by Carrie Lewis, who was a former next door neighbor of mine. Uh, Carrie went through breast cancer a couple years ago. Um, and and, and I, I experienced it, I watched it, right? So from, but cancer overall though, I personally uh, experienced it last year. I had a melanoma on my chest that was removed in June. So um, I'm, I'm sensitive to this dangerous, this, this killer drug uh, or disease. And um, I just want to be a part of it. I want to make a contribution. I want, I want to do something. Oh my God, are those lovely words or are those lovely words? Absolutely, that's what it's really about. It's about passion, making a difference. And there's so many people, there is nobody that doesn't know somebody that was diagnosed with cancer. Yep. So it's just, and it's just the awareness to let people know that you know it's a survivable, especially if we early detection is everything Absolutely. with all cancers. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being here. I'm here with Martin and a couple of your players from the Gulf Coast Flames. Martin, tell me about how these gentlemen are involved in your Real Men Wear Pink campaign. Uh, these guys are part of my life, the, the every, everyday life, and uh, they help uh, sponsor Cancer Society. $500 donation, so uh, they're very helpful and uh, they do everything. So you have your team committed, you have your family and your friends committed to help raise money for your Roman Wear Pink campaign. Absolutely. You know, the cancer is not fun and uh, I got a couple people that are going through the stage of cancer and if you see what they're going through, you want to help them out and, and uh, do something for them. Yes, so we have fundraisers just like this one today to help our community because this money goes back into our community and other people all around the nation who may need a hospital stay, who may um, stay at the Hope Lodge while their family is going through treatment. So it's wonder wonderful to see the next generation of philanthropists um, and getting them involved in something really productive um, and to help the rest of humanity. Absolutely, you got to teach kids at a young age and if you show them what's going on to get them ready for, for life, that's the best thing you can do. If there's one thing that you could tell somebody watching today that may be interested to participate next year and get involved with maybe their soccer team or their hockey team, what would you say, Coach? I would say that everything helps. Every dollar, every help, every person helps. So if there's somebody that wants to help out, 
uh, it's a fantastic cause and uh, please come and uh, come and join us well guys we really appreciate you being here and being a part of raising awareness and ending breast cancer here in America thanks guys thank you Hello, and we're here with Jim, and you're one of the participants of the men who wear pink. So first of all, I will say you look fabulous. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, and I really enjoyed your little catwalk at the end there, the little thank flexing. You. Maybe you'll thank give you. us another sample Gary of that. Told me to do that, so it wasn't my idea. <laughs> so tell me, what does this mean to you? Why are you here today? How is this touching your life? What inspired you to come out? Well, this is such a great cause. My mother-in-law currently is going through breast cancer. She's going to have to have a mastectomy in, in a couple months, and uh, I've known Carrie very well. I've known several women and men that have had breast cancer, and I just thought this is an opportunity for me to help in a little way. And I thought anything I can do for this cause, I'm glad to do so. Well, first of all, I'm going to say it is not a little way. I must commend you for coming out here, for strutting your stuff on the catwalk, for being one of these inspirational men in the community. Thank, Thank you, you so much. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So we are here with Jim. You're one of the participants in the Men Who Wear Pink. And I must say, I really enjoyed the end of your little catwalk when you flex. Maybe you'll do that for us again. Thank you so much. But I, I want to say, um, why here? Why, why this event? I mean, you're, you're really stepping out and really showing your support. What does this mean to you? What inspired you to be here? Well, breast cancer is such a great cause. And Currently, my mother-in-law is undergoing breast cancer. She has to have a mastectomy in a couple months. And I've known several women and men that have been affected by this disease. And I just thought maybe this is a way that I can help participate in, in such a great event and such a, for a great, great charity. So that's what I'm, why I'm here. So I, I'm just going to mention that when we were speaking earlier, you had said the little bit that you can do to help. This is not a little bit. This is huge. And I must commend you for coming out, stepping out, and really supporting the community. It's nice to have the men come out and support American Cancer Society. Thank He's you making so sure. much. And I was thrilled that I exceeded my goal of what I told Kara I'd get. So people have been so generous, and that's so important. Because like you say, it's such a great cause. So. It is, and there isn't somebody that doesn't know anyone with cancer. Very true. Very true. Thank you so much for You're being here. You're very welcome. I'm here with Brandon, who just walked the runway for the fashion show. Brandon, how did that feel? It was awesome. Super fun. A lot of energy. It was great. Good time. So what initially wanted, you know, des your desire to get involved in such a great organization and event? I think it's a great cause. Um, there's a lot of energy and passion behind this cause, so that's what really got me excited to join. And who are you wearing today? I'm wearing Saks Fifth Avenue today. Excellent. Yeah. And you are the general manager of Seasons 52? Yes, I'm the general manager of Seasons 52 here at UTC Mall. And you've been a wonderful partner in this event, so thank you very much for hosting the pre and post events for all of the real men. If there was one thing that you could tell the other gentlemen in the community about wanting to get involved with American Cancer Society, what would you tell them about your involvement in this event? I think it's a great event, and like I said before, I think the, the enthusiasm, the passion that gets put behind these events, it makes it really exciting for us to keep on driving the great cause. One takeaway from today. Wow. Um, uh, it was it was fun. That, that, that's it. Like it was just really fun. It was super exciting to wear a, a Saks Fifth Avenue outfit. We, you know, a lot of us can't afford. I'll tell you the truth. So that was a really something different for sure. Very fun for a great event. Thank you, Brandon, so much for being here today. Thank you. Hello, and we're here with Maverick. Now, Maverick, I have to say that you're always here. You're always. I. What don't you do for American Cancer Society? I. That's just really what I want to say. But tell me, I. You know, what inspires you? And I, you know, even this, you know, being a part of men who wear pink is just an amazing thing. It's just one more thing that you've taken on. Tell me a little bit of what inspired. Well, the American Cancer Society is close to my heart. My mom is a breast cancer survivor, and in 1999 she was diagnosed, and she had a lumpectomy. And as she says all the time, you know, whenever you have a pain or you feel something unusual in your breast, she is concerned. So when you're a cancer survivor, especially breast cancer survivor you are always thinking if it's going to come back and so it's always going to be a part of my life to educate women to raise funds to talk about it because it's one of those cancers that affects the entire family but it's also one of those cancers that 
women can, can take control of it. You know, knowing your breast density. If you have dense breasts, it can be a little trickier to diagnose. Self exams are so important. Mammograms beginning at the age of 40 are so important. So these are the things that I always like to talk about because I think sometimes it's one of those things where people are afraid to discuss and they're nervous about it. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I say that all the time too. There is nothing embarrassing about, and there is no stupid question, there is no silly question. Something doesn't seem right, go ask your doctor because early detection is everything. It saves lives. Early detection is the key. It saves lives, and in all kind of manners, I will say this about breast cancer. Talk to someone if you don't know how to do a breast exam. Talk to someone if you're nervous about getting a mammogram. I hear from women all the time that I don't need one or I don't, it's uncomfortable or I'm not sure. There are all kinds of things now online and people that are willing to talk to you to get you over that hurdle because once you do, it'll be a part of your routine. And there's so much that American Cancer Society actually offers. I mean, you can just call up, actually speak to somebody, they actually put you in touch with another survivor, or they can explain or tell you where to look to get all these things that you're saying, how to do you know, a breast exam. Properly. Yeah, it, one of those things that I think a lot of people don't know is by going to cancer.org you can get a lot of information, but even at the local American Cancer Society office, they do have survivors, they do have doctors, they have all kinds of people that you can reach out to and talk to if you're not sure or you're afraid to reach out to a regular doctor, you could talk to a volunteer with the American Cancer Society to kind of curb those fears and get that information. And it's always so nice to meet with another survivor, someone who actually knows what you're going through, someone who has been there yes. and can really help Absolutely. you with that. Thank you so much, Maverick. Thank you for everything that you do you and always much. being part of this huge Absolutely. event. Thank it's you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. I'm here with Dr. O'Neill. You just walked in the Real Men Wear Fashion, Wear Pink Fashion Show. Yep. What was that experience like for you to be involved in this organization and then the energy of today? Oh, it's pretty memorable. Not to. Um, Put it into one word, it's very hard to do that, but it's been uh, fantastic. Um, fundraising, you know, bottom line is we need research. And in order to have research, we have to have money. So chip in and anybody that can do anything they can, do it. Don't wait. Excellent. <laughs> Wise words. If there's something that you could tell one of the viewers today about wanting to get involved in this organization and becoming a real men advocate for yeah. uh, making strides against breast cancer, what would that be? Well, I mean, uh, pretty much every community, I mean, has some type of function that's going to be, you know, there. So I, you could reach out to authorities in the community, but probably the easiest way is you know, social media. I mean, that's that's how I kind of got involved. So, you know, you start looking into American Cancer uh, Society or Association. Um, you could obviously look into Real Men Wear Pink because that's what we're a part of. But um, you know, that's the, I think social media is probably one of the easiest ven uh, vendors or venues to go through. So one of the exciting things about the Real Men Wear Pink is that they fundraise individually to be a candidate for this fashion show. What was one of the standout things that you did to raise money for your campaign? Well, um, one of the ideas, uh, I will have to say, one of the ideas I had was to have a life-size poster made of myself and put right outside my practice. And um, so what happened is I needed obviously to wear something pink. So we went ahead and got a really nice pink suit. And my team at Longbow Key Dental did a great job. They got me a pink suit. So I'm out there in a pink suit, and that was one of the best ways that I could catch people's attention, especially when they're walking by our office. Well, let me say, I saw <laughs> pictures of that pink suit. You oh, look fantastic. Oh, Dr. Yeah. O'Neill, you've been a wonderful Thanks. advocate. Thank you so much for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Good to be a part of something as great as this. Well, that about wraps it up for the 2018 American Cancer Society Real Men Wear a Pink Fashion Show. We want to thank the University Town Center Mall for hosting us here at this wonderful, wonderful atrium here. And to all the sponsors that dressed up our very handsome men. All the retailers, they did a wonderful job. Absolutely. But you know what, Stephanie? What? I really think that we could outdo them. Let's, on this let's show them. Let's show them. Okay.